Guys, it's Dr. Gate here, and today I'm bringing you episode 4 of this session of Pokemon Showdown. So, so far we're doing really well, I would have to say. Let's see how we fare against this team. Scary team. <laughs> hmm, I want rocks because multiple things he has is weak, are weak to it. Is that just utility Celebi? No. Yep, 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 yep. Um I do kind of have a Heracross weakness on this team now that I think about it. Stone Edge is not the weakness that I'm thinking of, but... If he's carrying, like, close comp... Uh, I guess not. Eat a flamethrower! And then... Chansey. Back into Slowbro, because I don't think a CC can kill. Megahorn hurts. Doesn't kill, though. Hmm. This thing is a real bitch. I'm gonna have to let, have Chansey take one. So I can get the free switch into the... The Rotom Heat. I better outspeed. Whoa. That sucks. And I think hammer arm's better. Doesn't really matter, but... And then I'm gonna go into Absol, because it... It's gonna scare this thing out. But, you know, I don't care if it... Whoa! Why would you... Why? Why would you stay in on that? All right, I've seen it all now. <laughs> Didn't the last guy do that too? Maybe it's not that common for me to carry that. I don't know. I'm gonna go into Slowbro, hoping that he just like rapid spins. Am I actually gonna recover anything? No. Fortunately, not. Take some damage here across. Now I'm going to Spiky Shield. To get more damage on this nuisance. And now, can I take it? Have we established this thing isn't uh, banded? It'll use Stone Edge, then withdraw. Mega Horn, Mega Horn. Withdrawal? No, it probably is. So, can I live a close combat? Um, uh, let me... Alright. Heracross. Item. Uh, we're going to assume that it's banded. And then chestnut. 
close combat does not kill. Assuming that, yeah, I'm fully specially defensive, which I am. So, I'm gonna stand and go for the hammer arm. And then he dies. Wow. That, now I, I don't know. He still has some really scary threads. Like that, they are hacksers. Slowbro, he does alright to handle this. Hopefully. Unless this U-turns. It's life warped. Um I think Mew's least valuable right now. So Mew can take one. Because I'm slowly wearing this thing down, and I'm actually going to go into Chestnut so that I can spike his shield. No reason not to. Because that kills the arc. So now, Haxorus is really my threat. I handle both of those very easily with Chestnut and with um, Slowbro. With Chestnut really handles both of those. Why would you do that? That's 88%. Mm, because I have no heal beller. But if I can... It's worth it to me to... Do this. Um, I should have leech seed. Yeah, well, no, because then it wouldn't have... Would have given him an extra move. And Now, I bet he goes into that there, Haxorus. Alright. So... Rotom. I'm gonna hope that he goes for like a. I should have sacked something. That he, nope, he's gonna go for the dragon dance. Like, I don't. Hmm. Wait, how did that kill me? Oh, mold breaker. I can sucker punch for damage. Mm hmm. And then, can Chestnut take an Earthquake? Let's spike his shield and see if, how he wants to change. And yes, that's more damage. Now he's got to go for it again, and I can switch into Slowbro. Because now he'll take Rocky Helmet damage. Yep. Right there, that was good plan, if I do say so myself. Now, I still don't know if I can take out this right period. Hmm. Right period. I'm actually calculating. Well, uh, yeah, I'm going to calc which one does more. Hammer arm does 35. Or... Yeah, 35. Let's just do it. That crit probably mattered. I don't know. We'll see what... He doesn't kill me. And he won't next turn. Yeah, that crit mattered. Don't miss. Alright. No, it didn't. Because two turn kill either way. Alright, good game. Alright guys, thanks for watching. I hope you all enjoyed, and if you did, be sure to rate, comment, and subscribe. Until next time.